it's Heidi Hope of New England Photo Collective and Photographer Rising. In today's photo lesson, we're going to do a project, we're going to incorporate a little bit of art and create kindness rocks. If you've never heard of kindness rocks before, we actually hadn't either. We found our first kindness rock when we were out on a walk with our family. And um, it's just a little painted rock that has an expression of kindness on it. It could be a single word, or it could be a, a motivational phrase, um, or it could even just be a picture of an animal, just something creative and unexpected. If you liked today's video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and sign up for notifications. And I'd love to see your results from this project in the comments below. learn more about the Kindness Rocks Project by visiting thekindnessrocksproject.com. And there's a lot of great resources on this website. There's actually packages for school, um, grants and sponsorship, and um, some free downloads. So if you go to the free downloads here, there's actually a little additional project you can do here, be the I in Kind handout, which is a little art project for kids um, where children can draw a self-portrait right here in the place of I. So that's really fun. If you do that, we'd love to see that too. And then there's this um, downloadable information sheet on exactly how the Kindness Project works. There's also the I in Kind lesson plan right here. So these would be really great for anybody who's going to be home for the next few weeks um, or homeschoolers might love this or uh, art instructors or photography instructors. This is fun. By doing the, the art project and then photographing the art project, you're taking picture of the rocks in unique places. You can see that's being done here in a lot of these examples. Um, it's a fun way to combine art and photography together and also really instills great values in kids. It gets the conversation going about kindness. And I mean, that's the best part about art is that we can bring all these different ideas together. So again, this is all at thekindnessrocksproject.com and you can find them on different social media channels as well. We're actually filming this during um, quarantine or um, schools being closed for the 2020 coronavirus outbreak. So we're all stuck at home. We're not able to go out into public places where there's more than a certain number of people. So I thought it would be fun for us to create our kindness rocks now and place them around our own yards or around our own home, take a photo of it and share that message using the hashtag kindness rocks. If you look up that hashtag on Instagram now, you'll see lots of examples of people who have already been making their own kindness rocks and sharing them. When this period of quarantine is over, we can go out and we could leave the rocks out in um, public places or at, like at a park or something like that so that other people could find it and see that message. They do tell you to ask permission from the local parks department. Um, if they don't allow it, then you could try to create a little display somewhere local. You could um, put them on your own curbside in your neighborhood, wherever um, you want. Just make sure you get permission in public places. So the first thing we need to do is go find the rocks that we're going to paint our messages on. The materials that you're gonna need for this are um, some type of paint, acrylic paint, works best. You want that because it's um, waterproof. If you use kids paints like temper paint or finger paint, um, it might be a fun activity for younger kids and that's totally great, but um, it would wash that off if you left it outside. You could also use um, some type of waterproof sealant on top if you wanted to. So once the rock is all designed, you could paint a waterproof sealant over it. like. Um, and then you could also use Sharpies for these. Sharpies don't show up as well. You could also do a coat of white paint or gesso and then put Sharpies on top. Um, so really any art material, be creative with it. This is a great one for the little ones um, because it'll be the, obviously the painting and decorating of the rock can be really fun for all ages. And then uh, you can have a helper or an older kid write the message of kindness or even just one word of kindness that the little one chooses and um, then they can take the picture of it themselves. To take the picture, you can just use a simple cell phone, try to get creative or take a picture of it in a few different spots and see which image you like the best in the end. So let's go find our rocks. A couple of quick notes based on um, our experience with doing this project. First off, 
flat, smooth rocks really work best because they provide a really smooth painting surface. But we didn't have smooth rocks in our yard. We had big, bumpy rocks. Um, it was still cool, but it definitely would have worked better with a flatter, smoother rock. So um, do your best to try to find something that's flat and smooth. You might also have something in your house, like a decorative rock or, um, or even a seashell or something like that. Be creative with it. Plan for the drying time. Um, once you paint your acrylic paint on the rock, before you write your words on the rock, there's going to be at least an hour of drying time in there, depending on how much paint you put on the rock. So you're going to do the painting, take a break, um, and then come back to them to write your words. And then also, and then for the photography afterwards, obviously, that would be more of like kind of running around and finding cool places to take the picture. And then finally, if you don't have rocks or you don't have acrylic paint, um, don't worry about it. You can still participate in this. Really, it's about photographing a message of kindness. That's the heart of what we're doing. So if you just want to take a post-it and decorate a post-it and write your message of kindness on that and photograph that, you can still do this project. You could um, decorate a scrapbook page and um, put your quote on that and then photograph that. The point is we're trying to create that message of kindness and share it out in the world through photography. So however you can do that, given the supplies that you have on hand, is totally great. Don't forget to share your message of kindness using the hashtag NEPC challenge and kindness rocks. That gives it nice co um, coverage and it helps the color stand out more. One trick for the younger crowd is to give them a limited color palette. So just pick a few colors that are kind of uh, close to each other or related to each other that when they mix together they're not going to create a brown muddy mess. Um, so like blue and green would be good or purple and red or um, but that way when they start mixing things together on their rock which is what's probably going to happen um, it doesn't become like a big muddy mess. Washable when you get it off right away. It's not really washable off clothing. So for the little kids, you might want to put a smock on them. A I, smock. What did I get to mock? I, I did not do that. Okay.